Hi guys and welcome to the 0.5 Rover update of KOS. Let's start off with some of the new math functions. First off we have some trigonometric functions, just your basic sine, cosine, and tangent. And these use degrees rather than radians just because that's what KSP standardizes on. And then we also have absolute value. Now on to some rover specific stuff. You've got target heading. And we've also got target bearing, which is just the difference between the heading you're on and the heading you need to be going to be driving towards a certain target. You've also got now up arrow and down arrow to cycle through your previous commands. So let's quickly write a program to show off our rover specific features. I'll start by setting my target. And since my target is almost directly behind me, I'm actually going to drive backwards at first while I turn towards it. So I'm going to lock wheel steering to the target and I'm going to lock wheel throttle to negative one. And I'm going to do that until the bearing is less than 90 degrees. Now we can start moving forward while we continue to steer towards the target. As we get a little closer to the target, we're going to want to start to throttle backwards just to slow down. Otherwise, when we hit the brakes, this thing is going to flip over. And once we're within 50 meters, we can go ahead and hit the brakes. Let's go ahead and add another print here. Okay, let's see what happens. One thing to be aware of when you're building your rovers is just make sure your command pod is facing upward or forward. Uh, when I did a test on this earlier, my pod was actually facing downward and it caused serious problems. And that looks like mission accomplished to me. In 0.5, Accessing the archive drive from space is going to require some communications hardware. You're going to need at least one antenna if you're in orbit, and more if you're more than 150 kilometers away from planet Kerbin. You can now access time warp from your scripts using set warp. And the system will continue to run while warping is in progress. Here I'm automatically turning the time warp off after four seconds. You can now print data directly to a portion of the screen using the print at statement. Here I've created a script that continuously updates the altitude in the top left of the screen and the apoapsis in the center of the screen. So this is useful if you want to get feedback from your script without writing it one line at a time and without flicker. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys are having fun playing around with this thing. Until next time, hack responsibly.